Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Well that last video I made went down a little bit kind of mixed in the in the community out there. Um, I'm, look, I'm genuinely sorry if you sort of took offence to me saying MeshTastic was broken. I know people have put a lot of hard work into it, all the devs and, and everything else and people have spent money on, on equipment, you know, um, based on some of my videos. So I do appreciate that and I am sorry for, for saying that, maybe that was a little bit harsh. Um, but I am kind of, you know, this is an unfolding story on here, Mestastic. I got into in the in the kind of early earlier days, maybe like six months ago. Not it's it's been going a long, long, lot longer than that. But I kind of got into it about six months ago and just kind of really, you know, liked it. So I kind of got excited, made a load of videos about it, um, and just encouraged other people to get involved in it. And as the Mestastic stories unfolded on this channel and other places as well, um, it has been it has been clear that there's like a few little kind of issues and and bits and quirks, little things here and there. But it is an early days project. You have to realize it's never gonna be a WhatsApp replacement. It's a cool way of sending messages, you know, without any kind of infrastructure other than the stuff that you've got, like nodes and stuff. Anyway, enough of that. What I wanna talk about today is the migration from long fast to medium fast modes. So basically long fast is the mode that we've all been using. It's the kind of like the standard default mode on Meshtastic. You just turn it on and go and it, it kind of just works or, or it doesn't in some cases. Now, most of you will be aware that there are other lower presets you can use with Meshtastic and they all have their different kind of caveats. Um, you know, some are better for range, some are better for speed and everything else. So after a bit of discussion with the Meshtastic dev team over on their Discord, yeah, it seems like my video made everyone start talking about this, which is a good thing. They actually suggested that we try medium fast mode. So why medium fast mode? Well, it's actually three times faster than long fast, which is what we currently use in the UK. It's around three kilobits a second. So basically the data throughput is gonna be a lot quicker. More stuff can fit in the limited space that we've got on the spectrum for Meshtastic. Now, let's be really clear about this. This is not gonna fix all of the problems with Meshtastic in one foul swoop. This is an experiment to see if it will actually improve data rate and everything else. In fact, what most of you will probably see when you switch to this is a lot less nodes because the range is slightly decreased. It's not decreased a huge amount, but it's probably might be enough that you don't see as many nodes. And of course, in the beginning, you won't see as many nodes because not everyone would have switched over to medium fast yet. So there'll be less nodes on that. So it could take a little bit of time. It's up to you if you want to try this. Of course, it's just a suggestion. But when I asked the question out on my Discord, it came back with a lot of positive like response because people just want to try something that might help improve things, which is which is sensible, which is what it's all about. So how do we configure our nodes to use medium fast? Let's dive into the MeshTastic app and I'll show you. It's really, really simple. Right, so in the MeshTastic app, we go into radio configuration and we go to lower and we can see here, I've already set it to medium fast, but you basically just hit this and you can select the other modem presets really easily. Um, everything else remains unchanged. The frequency is still the same, 869.525 in the UK. Um, I've got my hop limit on three, which is kind of standard um, at the moment. And that is basically it. And then all we need to do is hit the send. I won't do it because we've already done it. Um, and that will update the node. That's it, that's all you need to do. So back on the main screen, whilst you're here, you might as well do a node DB reset, the one there right down at the bottom, because by doing that, you're going to just reset the node. So you're only going to see the ones that are on um, medium fast. Also, remember that you won't see any long fast nodes now you've done that. So you, you're only going to see nodes that are um, have also been set to medium fast as well. Now, also, it's worth mentioning this setting, which is in device um, menu here is that setting the role of your node. Now this is really important. Most nodes should be in client mode. You shouldn't be using router or router client or any of these other, other modes um, unless you're doing something really specific and you have a really good station on the top of a hill. You definitely shouldn't be using router or router client or repeater unless you have a really, really good setup, like literally on top of a tower or something like that. You just shouldn't mess with these. You should be running client or client mute. So client mute is actually a really good setting to use to reduce traffic in your area, which everyone should be kind of interested in doing um, as part of the network. You wanna kind of make this as efficient as possible. So what client mute basically does is it stops your device from repeating packets. Um, why would you want that to happen? I mean, because you know this is supposed to be a mesh, everything's supposed to kind of you know repeat onto the next node and that's how it kind of expands. Not always, because actually if you've got a node like this one, which is just on my desk, 
then there's no need to have this one repeating out everything that's coming in because nothing's going to hear this note. It's just sitting on my desk. It's, you know, there's no way anything other than 100 metres away is probably actually going to receive this one. All the work is being done by my station, which is in the loft with a, um, a sort of beam or Yagi. So what you want to do is have your local nodes in your house or whatever turned to client mute, and that will reduce a lot of traffic. This node is not going to hear some of the stuff that the main one can. So this could potentially trample all over um, any packets that are coming in from outside that the loft node is going to hear, but this can't. So definitely set your local home nodes um, to client mute if you've got a bigger antenna outside or something in the loft. That is a really, really key thing I can't get across enough. You need to be running client mute on nodes that, that haven't got very good reach. So that's kind of it guys. Let's try medium fast. I know there's some groups in the UK already using this and they have reported that it actually works really well. Um, so that's good to know. Um, you know, I've thought about this a lot, uh, trying to consider different options for how we can kind of do something to kind of, you know, improve things a bit. Let's try this on the recommendation of the MeshTastic development team and see how it goes. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll we'll come back in a week's time and we'll see how it's going. I'll make another video about the progress and what's happened. And if we've broken the whole thing completely, then, well, we'll have to just think about something else and go back to long fast. But anyway, let's try it out. We're all discussing this on my Discord and also the Empower 24-7 Discord. If you're not a member of those, I'll leave links below um, in the description to those like invite links to Discord. Um, it's probably the best place to get the latest information on Meshtastic at the moment, in, in the UK at least, anyway. And of course, there's the you know the main Meshtastic Discord as well, um, which is you know very, very busy. So yeah, try medium fast. All my nodes have switched over to it as of now, and we'll see how it goes. Catch you next time, guys.